In this video, I'm going to show you guys a great trick you can do with blue or purple laser pointers and a glow-in-the-dark item like this little glow-in-the-dark ball I have right here. I'll put a link in the video description. First off, make sure you're wearing laser safety protection glasses. So I'm going to start off using this 405 nanometer purple laser 303, about 50 milliwatts in power. And what you're going to find is that if you have a glow-in-the-dark item like this ball that hasn't been charged up yet, it's not glowing yet, you can shine your laser at it and it will actually charge up the item. You're going to see I'm going to be able to draw little lines on this ball because the laser itself is able to charge up the item similar to how sunlight or a strong light in your house would be able to do. It's a pretty cool trick that you can do to show people and I've also seen people implement it in a much larger scale by painting an entire wall with this glow in the dark type paint and then you're able to use a laser and kind of draw on the wall in the dark. And I do plan on doing a video of that sometime in the near future to show you guys how that would work. I'm going to show you guys another laser now. This is going to be the Thor laser 445 to 450 nanometers blue about 1.2 1.3 watts in power so with this one I'm gonna kind of focus the laser out a bit so that that dot is like an inch or two inches long because I don't want to accidentally burn this rubber ball and this laser is pretty strong I wouldn't really recommend doing this with anything over this 1.3 power range because that's that's pretty much the maximum amount of glow you're gonna get anyway in my opinion I think it's overkill if you need to pull out a 3 or 7 watt laser to do this and you just are creating that much more risk for yourself that you could accidentally burn something or burn yourself. But yeah, the camera doesn't really do it justice here. It's actually glowing a bit more than you're able to see, but the camera's kind of auto-correcting for the amount of darkness here, so it makes it look a bit dimmer. But this is a really cool trick that you can try out with a laser pointer. If you guys found this interesting in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if there's anything else you'd like me to demonstrate, any other laser related experiments or tricks that you'd like me to demonstrate, leave them in the comments down below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.